What's up everybody? I'm gonna give you a couple tricks, a couple tips on making uh, a, what I like to call the dirty shad pattern. Um, biggest thing, this is late, almost late fall, early winter time. I mean, we're getting pretty close, but it is pretty much Halloween here in Nebraska. Uh, heading into November, and November can be kind of really all over the board with weather, but a lot of the fish that are in the lakes that have shad are starting to push those shad into just bait balls and the main thing is they're going to start foraging as much as possible whether they're bass, pike, uh, walleye, wiper, crappie, you name it. Um, but sometimes they tend to pinpoint the smaller bait fish, they're easier targets. So we're going to use a very small dinger baits 0.5 um, as our template today and I'll kind of show you a couple different ways that I make, uh, well basically I'll, a couple different ideas on how I make this pattern. Um, but I use craft vinyl. So the first thing that I got is this stuff right here. So you can get a ton of this for like 12 bucks. I think this is almost 12 feet if I remember right. 12 inch by six feet. So a um, ton of this stuff. And obviously with small baits like this, it can travel a long way. Um, but that's going to be an exterior. You can definitely get baits that are like this that are already chromed on the inside. But the way I like to do it is have it on the outside for the extra shine. And I'll show you why as well as the dirty part and how I manipulate that uh, on these things. So first thing we're gonna do is nothing to this. We're not gonna clear coat, uh, excuse me, we're not gonna uh, prime it or anything. We're just going to simply start to put the uh, the vinyl on and then I'll show you the next couple of steps to pretty, uh, make it pretty important. But last product is gonna be pretty cool. They fish well, like I said, this time of year anywhere that has shad, it's the, it's the way to go. So downsizing gets you into a lot of fish, sometimes big ones but a lot of different species too. So here we go. But first thing I'm going to do is, so I've cut out the vinyl in a small square and I just need to match up a, a rough estimate of the size. So I'll just cut it in two pieces here. And once I do that, I'm going to apply side by side, use a heat gun to basically eliminate any air so I can watch, uh, watch all those bubbles if there are any disappear um, and hopefully get as many of these the, the cracks and cinches up out of there, but I want it to touch and get as deep into these shad pattern or the scale pattern that's on this bait as possible. So we'll uh, work with that and then get on to the next step. All right, so this uh, vinyl has a little clear protective layer that you need to take off. And then that way it is extremely, extremely pliable. And then this back layer right there need much you'll start to see everything start to curl and that means it's warm and you can start pressing down I like to use my nail and just rub it against it pretty coarse and that way you'll start to hear hear it adhere hear it adhere to the side there Off camera, I am just gonna take a X-Acto knife and cut the top and the bottom. All right, first side is done. That's cut, mapped out very well. I'm excited about that one. I'm gonna repeat that same process to grab the other side. And then we're going to do the next step to uh, incorporate that, uh, that dirty shad look here. So same thing. Cover up the other side. We just need to. Both sides for the most part are done. It's not super pretty on that bottom top part, but that's okay. We'll brush that out with some paint and it'll look just just fine. Fish aren't gonna care at the end of the day. William crystal clear enamel, and I do a very preliminary base coat on this particular bait right here, okay? Because what we're gonna end up doing, and what I call the dirty side of the shad, 
is we're going to paint the shad traditionally. We're going to, for me, I'm going to go with the white bottom down the, down the, uh, the underside, the belly of this bait. We'll go with the shad dot. We're going to go with the black top and then use a color changing, color change pigment to kind of give it a little bit of a, maybe more of a bluish iridium color. And then the dirty portion is actually going to be that black. I'm going to brush in to all of these gaps. And since I've already clear coated it very preliminarily, it's going to be wiped away. So I'm going to wipe it away. And so it's going to give the scales a little bit of extra texture, um, but at the same time, completely still keep this very flash, flash chrome look. So it'll look pretty sharp, believe me. So next thing, I'm just waiting on these to dry a bit. I got one more in there and then uh, we'll start with the wipe away portion. Cleaned it up uh, just a smidge, but that's that's what I like to call that dirty portion. So you're gonna see the accents there, but look at that chrome finish. It's still very, very shiny. So I'm gonna finish up the second one I got, and then uh, we'll go through on the next portion of the painting. Dipped, now drying process of the dirty chrome shad. All right, we are at a local lake that has wiper, walleye, crappie, bass, a little bit of everything. Taking out the dirty shad. Uh, we'll see if we can get anything. I like this sh shad, look at that holographic finish on that. I mean, that vinyl is pretty sweet. So see if we got something. Otherwise I got a big bait to toss around about a six, six and a half inch rainbow trout swim bait I painted. So let's get to fishing. Giving this a shot thus far. It is slick calm out here. Awesome chrome finish on this thing from this craft vinyl. Good shimmy, good shine. These dinger baits, 0.5 crank baits, or their 1.5s or their 2.5s are awesome. Well, well done. Highly recommended. Not affiliated with dinger at all, but I just believe in their products. Hope you enjoyed that montage of just casting because we didn't catch anything. No good bites tonight. It's slick calm. Haven't caught a fish in a, a, a good while I feel like but we'll get there. It just takes some uh, perseverance and time after time just got to keep casting. So uh, I lost the lure right near the end there. It's kind of what happens too. Sometimes you make something or paint something and the like, same day it's gone just like that. But that's a bait making day so um check out that craft final i really appreciate uh you guys watching that craft final has been awesome um it's going to be a really cool piece of uh, equipment for you guys uh it works really really well i mean that heat setting it is it conforms right down to those little crevices so check it out um if you like what you saw enjoyed the time hit that subscribe button below appreciate it uh 
hit the bell notifications if, well, next time I post uh, post a video, and uh, we'll get after it. So.